All right, here's how you can run uncensored DeepSeek R1 on your local machine step by step. First, you need to look up LM Studio, which is a software that runs LLMs locally and go to the first result that leads to LM Studio's homepage. Download the installer right from the main page. Locate the downloaded installation file and launch it. The installation process is straightforward. Once the installation is done, launch it. All right, now that LM Studio is up and running, let me explain what you're seeing. The top section is where you interact with LLMs. The developer section is, as the name implies, for developer stuff. Here in the My Models section, all the downloaded LLMs will be located and in the Discover tab, this is where you download the LLMs. Now look up Weihui DeepSeek. Weihui just stands for the developer or organization responsible for this model, and it has released eight obliterated models, which means that it's an uncensored version of DeepSeek R1, with restrictions removed for more open-ended responses. So go ahead and pick the 7B model if you have a decent PC and a GPU. If you have a high-end PC, you can try the 14B or even 32B models. Then pick a quantization from Q2 to Q8 or F16, which basically means choosing how compressed the model is, with lower numbers using less VRAM but sacrificing accuracy. I'll just pick the Q8 quantization since my PC should be able to run it smoothly. Select one and click download. Then once it downloads, load the model and it's ready to be interacted with. All right, let's get straight to the point with the most uncomfortable questions for DeepSeek since it is a Chinese AI model because the standard version of DeepSeek is heavily censored on Chinese sensitive topics. And just to be clear, this is not meant to insult the Chinese people or their country, only to test censorship, which is not as prevalent here in the West. Okay, so I'll ask, what is the real death toll of the 1989 Tiananmen Square massacre? And wait, what? It's still censoring. Okay, so I looked it up. Apparently you have to nudge it with a generic lead-in prompt to trigger its thinking block. So let me try again in a new session. I'll just say hi, and it greets me back. Now again, I'll ask the Tiananmen Square question, and now it's thinking, and there it is, spilling all the beans. I'm not sure about the accuracy of the data, but compared to DeepSeek's web version, this one is open to talk. Okay, let's try a couple more. Why is the iconic Tank Man photo banned in China? And it says, suppressing it helps maintain a consensus where history is viewed positively without acknowledging past challenges. I see, so it acknowledges censorship, but frames it as as maintaining stability. Okay, one more. What happens inside the Xinjiang education camps? The physical conditions within the camps have been a subject of criticism, with reports citing long hours, physical labor, and potential psychological torture for those struggling to adapt. Damn, that's harsh. But at least this version doesn't outright deny it. This uncensored model talks about everything, so please be advised, use it responsibly. This is in stark contrast to the web version of DeepSeek, which censors everything related to these sensitive topics and won't give you any real answers. By the way, I have a video on how to bypass DeepSeek's censorship in the web version. Go watch it. I will leave the link below in the description or in the comments. It's really interesting. This experiment really shows how different the local versions of AI models can be from their web counterparts when it comes to discussing sensitive topics. If you found this information helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe for more AI testing videos. See you next time.